Let's see what's going on. It's throw dart to write this new song where, you know, I'm trying to write a song about dad for a while, but haven't done it, and uh, what he's going through. And uh, I think we've got something special. We're just like actually writing it now. We just came up with a chorus, and it's like, fuck, I'm it's tearing up. So. Say goodbye to someone who's been there my whole damn life. Gave me my name in the color of your eyes. See your face when I look at mine. So, fuck. It does feel special, right? I like it on piano. I like it on piano, though, but, but either or, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. With atmosphere in the background and make like emotional vocal. Someone's here's been with me for my. Let me just try to riff that. Yeah. Alright, let me just take a photo of you. One, two. One, two, three. But how do I say goodbye? I'm sorry, one more time. But how do I say goodbye? Someone who's been with me for my whole damn life You gave me my name and the color of your eyes I see your face when I look at mine How do I say It's good, right? Oh my god Dude! Dude! <laughs> I'm just listening to it now and it sounds fucking amazing. This is just shivers. I'm sending it to, I just literally sent it to my friend. Oh, amazing. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Dude, what the fuck? What did you think of the song? Literally one of the most amazing things I've ever heard, honestly. Like, I think it's the most incredible song you've written. Did you shed a tear? I was literally crying. To be honest, I cried a few times. I'm really stressed out. When I wrote, I was like a, a bit emotional and um, I'm really stressed out because it's like, it's so important that I don't want to fuck it up. I'm getting fucking out of breath. Dude, that's so good. Yeah, I'm feeling like so affected by this that I'm like actually really stressed out. Like I'm really fucking stressed right now. Because <laughs> it's so real and so powerful, man. Like we can't fuck this up. <laughs> we can't fuck this up. Like we've got to get this, the verse to be as good as that. The song's so good, but we're struggling because uh, when you have a really good chorus like that, the verse has to live up to it, and right now it doesn't live up to it. So we're trying to change rooms. We come down to the lounge room, and we're going to try to write down here um, to kind of give a bit of a different energy, and hopefully we can find something. But this is a good problem to have. Try to feel sad goodbyes, want to know if you'll be so Early morning, just play that, just play Early morning. Feel the rip me from my skin Trying to find someone to love the dark again Nice! Ooh, I like yeah. that! Yeah. And I want it I like that In the deepest of your door And I stare about the feelings of a friend But how do I put it all to say? Let it go Da 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 That's it, should we play that back? Oh, that's it. Oh, great I can't show this to dad for like a while though. Because you know what he's going to say, he'll hear it and be like... Well, I'm not, I'm, I'm here. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, you know, I, it's like, it's not about him. It's about him getting sick, right? And our expectations of, you know, how do you say goodbye to someone? It's not he's gone because he's, it's 
it's, it's how do you say goodbye or because you start to think about it when someone gets sick and you realize that you don't have all the time in the world especially as someone like me and us all us boys we don't we're not super like emotional we don't we never say i love you say i love you to mom but probably not to dad <laughs> hope he knows <laughs> this is my way to say it. i just really wanted to write a song about dad and i've been sort of thinking about it for a while and i just john was sitting at the piano i was just like this just feels like the right time so i just started writing it and um slowly come together we just came up with this new verse melody because the chorus was so good and uh, i think it's good so we're just going to record it and see if it's not terrible Yeah, let's keep that right down what we had. That was like kind of really good. Let me play it back. Right and was it then the last alarm we had before? You always saw the best in me. Right or wrong, you never left my side. That's great. Oh, we should play that back. That was cool. Right or wrong, you never. Right or wrong, you were always by my side. Which is true, like, you know, like, especially with Dad, like, he'd always... He'd like, no matter what you did, he'd kind of get pissed off at you, and then the next day he'd be like, it's all good. You know what I mean? Just different enough so it doesn't feel like you're just repeating it. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's like the kind of little earworm sort of thing. Totally great. It's already stuck in my head. Let's just record that. Early morning goes a message on my phone. It's from my mother saying, please come home. I fear the worst, I fear the waves begin to rise. So the waves begin to rise is maybe a, it feels it's, a little throwaway. It's, it's not great, is it? Because there's so much to say, but there's so little time. Great. Yeah, bro. Let's go. Get it. We've written three verses, and this is the third one, and um, it's feeling great. And I keep sneaking away to listen to the chorus. But um, yeah, it's amazing to think that this song didn't exist, and I was so excited about the future. And it's weird because then you write a song like this, and you sort of realize how the future wasn't even half as bright without the song but you don't realize that until you make it but it feels really special and it sort of feels like the next song that i put out for sure like it's so real and meaningful and uh i can't believe it that's great hey johnny i just got a message from the head of my label nicole no bullshit wowzers this is in fucking incredible i've got shivers this is sounding like one of the best songs you've ever written oh my god can't wait to hear it yeah, yeah let's Boy, fucking go <laughs> Excited. Dude, I'm fucking, dude, this is the song. This is it, man. Like, this is, it feels like it. it's real. We came in this morning and we were like, let's write some new verses because John thought that we could beat the verses. So, how many verses do we write in total? We got at least four or five. Four or five. At first, the problem was we wanted the verse to be as good as the chorus because the chorus is so good. But then we realized that the verse and this song has to sort of be like a little wingman and just be like the support to make the, the chorus amazing. It doesn't have to be as wow. The fact that this verse is very simple yeah. means the chorus can shine. As soon as we got that chorus, I'm like, when you go to that, you know, you gave me your name and the color of your eyes, it's like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing, oh. nah. <laughs> like, honestly, that's what yeah. it feels like. But it's been really fun. Like, the first time I've written with John in ages, and uh, it's a really special song. You don't come across these very often. This is like it's special. Yeah. Tomorrow we fly to London, but uh, we might just finish it. I think in a second. Bro, I'm about to. Epic, epic, Amazing, epic, man. huge. Have a good time in London. Epic. Yeah, I'll, I'll be, I'll be texting you. But dude, thanks heaps. Appreciate it. All right, over and out. Anyway, catch you, man.